Today in our 2015 Ram 2500, we're going to be installing Kurt's Underbed Gooseneck Trailer Hitch, part number C60614. This gooseneck is custom fit for your Ram 2500 and installs nice and easily. And you can quickly have your gooseneck in and ready to hook up to your trailer. It sits just above the rear axle and your truck to properly distribute the load on for your gooseneck trailer. The ball fits in tight and is able to rotate to help minimize any wear on components. And it features two safety chain loops that retract down using spring-loaded mechanisms. It features a 7,500 pound vertical load. That's the load going down on top of the ball and a 30,000 pound gross towing capacity. That's how much you can pull behind it. Now you do want to check your vehicle's owner's manual to ensure you're not exceeding its capacities. And when you're done using your gooseneck, you simply lift up the lever, turn it to the side, and you can pull your ball out. You can then store that inside your vehicle and then install the protective cover. This will keep out any dirt and debris from getting in there, as well as making a nice flat surface so nothing falls out of the bed of your truck. And while this is installed, you'll still have full truck bed access. So it's like it's not even there. And as you can see here, even if you've got a bed liner, you can still install it and use your bed liner. Now that we've gone over some of the features, let's show you how to get it installed. We'll begin our installation under our truck by removing the heat shield and the rear portion of our exhaust. Remove the two bolts here and two bolts here with a 10 millimeter socket. Now we're gonna remove part of our exhaust. So you wanna take this hanger off right here. You can just pry that off with a pry bar. Next, loosen the clamp on your exhaust with a 15 millimeter socket. Now you wanna remove the exhaust. You can try pulling on it, but you're probably gonna to have to use a rubber mallet to kinda of tap it out. After you've knocked it out some and it's looser, you can kind of work it back and forth and wiggle it out. Now that we've got some room to work with, we're going to need to drill out this hole here in the bottom of our bed. You'll use a three and a quarter inch hole saw. Now we're going to drill this from the top side, but we are going to start at the bottom and make our pilot hole so that way we know we're lined up when we go to drill out from the top. Now if you have a bed liner in the back of your truck and you're planning on drilling through it, you may need to use another drill bit to continue that pilot hole all the way through your bed liner. We're now back up top and we'll use our pilot hole we drilled to continue drilling our hole out. If you have a bed liner, you'll want to cut that out first and get that out of the way and then you can continue on and cut through your bed. Once it's all drilled out, vacuum up any shavings in the back. Then use some clear coat paint just to seal up the outside edges to prevent any rust or corrosion from occurring where you had cleaned off the paint from drilling. We'll be installing the nut plates next. Before we do that, you'll want to take the bolts and run them into each hole just to make sure they're nice and clean. Because they do paint them so it can be difficult to install the bolts. We're just running them in and out with a 15 16 socket. Do that for each hole on each nut plate. Next we're going to feed our nut plates in over our frame, underneath any wiring, and the truck bed. You're going to be lining it up with these holes here. And you're going to want to do this on both sides. Now with an extra set of hands, we're going to lift our hitch into place and start our hardware. Once you've got one bolt started on each side, it'll hold itself into position, making it easier to install the rest of your hardware. Now tighten down all your hardware using a 15 16 socket.
and then torque all of your hardware to the specifications in your instructions. We'll then need to drill out our holes for our safety chain loops. We're going to drill those out using an 11 16 drill bit. We're going to start with our 11 16 just to mark the hole so it's in the center. And then we'll use a smaller drill bit to drill through to make a small pilot hole and then continue to drill it out to that 11 16 size. Now we'll step it up to that 11 16 size. After you've got them all drilled out, go ahead and take your utility knife and just clean up the bed liner if you've got one installed. Get those straggly ends off. Then take some clear coat. We're just going to spray it on where we just drilled just to seal it in. And then verify that your safety chain loops fit in the holes. And if they both slide in easily, we can install the hardware on the underside. Start by placing on a washer, followed by a spring, then another washer, and then thread on your nut. You'll just hand tighten it for now because it's a lock nut, so you won't be able to get it on all the way. Go ahead and repeat that same thing on your remaining three studs of your safety chain loops. Now tighten all these down using a 15-16 socket until the stud on the bottom of the U-bolt is flush with the bottom of the nut. You can now reinstall your exhaust, pop your hanger back on. It may be easier to completely remove the hanger to reinstall it. And then tighten on your exhaust clamp with your 15 millimeter socket. Then place your heat shield back into position and reinstall it by starting all the hardware. And that completes our installation of Kurt's underbed gooseneck trailer hitch on our 2015 Ram 2500.